44, 41 degrees outside the Apple Tree Honda Acura Studios. Well, tonight is the big night for the Iowa caucuses, and uh, it is going to be a, uh, it's basically like the big uh, prom of politics for the most part when it comes to Iowa. And uh, one of our own, uh, very own Western North Carolina residents, Timothy Elkin, has been out in Iowa uh, for the last few days. He's been out there uh, kind of stumping for the uh, Rand Paul campaign. But uh, he's also gotten a pretty good perspective of kind of what it's like out there with all these politicians and politicos running around. Uh, Tim, welcome to the program, man. Thanks so much for taking some time to be with us this morning. Hey, Mark. Uh, thanks for having me. Listen, I, I imagine it's just got to be like a political heyday out there in Iowa right now. What's what's kind of one of the biggest things that's caught your attention since you've been out there? Uh, it's it's definitely quite an experience. Last Monday, so it's been a week now. Um, and since I've been here... You literally can't go anywhere without running into uh, either um, volunteers for different political campaigns, uh, reporters. Oh, my gosh. Right, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna, I'll, there's no I'll shortage of media. Report. Do what now? I said there's no shortage of media out there right now. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, um, have you run in – I know, obviously, I saw pictures of, of uh, from debate night – uh, where you were, uh, you were at the Rand Paul headquarters that night. But have you run into any of the other candidates ha- since you've been out there? Um, I have um, actually not run into any of the other candidates. It's mainly because I've been with the the Rand Paul campaign, but I have run into a lot of different, um, like I said, volunteers and mm-hmm. other campaign workers for for different groups. What's the uh, you know? You've been talking to a lot of folks on the phone, and, and what's the kind of the general consensus there of among Iowa voters that you've been able to talk to? I mean, are they are they excited for tonight, or is this something that they've been kind of dreading, or do they just want all this you know hullabaloo to go the hell away, and so that they can get back to life as normal? <laughs> well, um, I guess it really depends who you talk to. Mm-hmm. Uh, w- one thing that's r- that really surprises me the most, and I guess you know not everybody's like me, uh, willing to. Uh, travel all the way from Asheville to Iowa to, to help a campaign. Uh, but, but most people are actually um, undecided and are willing to wait until caucus night to get out there and discuss with uh, other neighbors and make their decision. That was one thing that really uh, stuck out. And then, of course, you have people that um, have been getting – uh, 60 calls a day, stop right. calling me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you get all kinds for sure. Well, you know, Tim, I think there's something to be said, and again, you know, we we're not uh, we're not trying to to endorse Rand Paul by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it's I, I think there's something to be said for your kind of uh, devotion to your candidate. I mean, obviously, you have a pretty you know strong belief in what Rand Paul is running on and the platforms that he's running on. Um, for you to take time out of you know take time off work and take time out of your day to head all the way out to Iowa uh, to to kind of stump for a week. I mean, that's, that's probably a, a new experience for you. Um, it is. It is. It's uh, definitely quite an experience. Um, it's an experience that I'll always cherish. Uh, you know, it's, like I said, not every day you get to go to, to Iowa and um, work on the, the front lines of a, a campaign. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, Dr. Dr. Paul is – I'm very passionate about what he believes in and his constitutional principles. And, uh, you know – Every time I've heard him speak, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm at a private fundraiser or at a big rally or um, it doesn't matter where I'm at. You know, his message is always consistent. He's not trying to to pander to different groups, whether if you're an evangelical or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, you know, he sticks to his principles. And that's something that, you know, I really respect about the man. And, and I'm very passionate that uh, he would be somebody that would get us. Um, on the right track, you know, back back to where our country needs to be. Well, there you go. Tim, thank you so much again for uh, spending time with us this morning. We certainly appreciate it. Enjoy tonight. Have a safe trip home, and we'll look forward to catching up with you soon, my friend.